Hello friends. Today we will learn how to do factor analysis with the help of SPSS. So this is the SPSS window and we need to convert these questions. We have 16 question into the factors. So let's click first analyze and then we'll go to dimension reduction and then we'll click factor. Now we'll get a small window here for factor analysis. So these are the question based on liquid scales. So we will cover, we will drag all these questions to the main variable window. Now this window will convert these 16 questions into factors. We have some more tools here. If you want more than factors, we can click one of then like we can click here to get correlation coefficient and other coefficients but we need to test the validity of factors we need to click KMO and the click test of sphericity so we continue here sometimes we don't know don't need any need for solution so we'll just click this one and continue okay we'll do some extract this uh, analysis automatically convert into certain factor based on their eigenvalue but if you need six number of factors as in this case we need five so we can click here five and continue rotation is important here normally we do value max otherwise in other analysis you can do other rotation and this will give you the rotate solution scores if you want to save these scores factor score in your SPSS you can click here and then you can give some name and save them this is a important tool first click here sorted by size and then suppress, suppress small coefficients normally we take 0.5 but if it is more than 0.6 that is more acceptable but 0.5 and above are also acceptable now we'll click ok and then we'll get the output first we'll see that camo number and see 0.89 it's well accepted good number 0 0.000 is your significance level these are your component matrix these are the Similarities. These, these are the total variance explained. So these five factors will explain around 73% of total variance. So it's good, quite good. And these are the rotated component matrix. You see there are five factors and these 16 items are divided into the five factors. You see five question in first, four question in second, three question in third, two question in fourth, and two question in fifth, and also component transformation. So this is our main window where we get the rotated component score of each items in the factors. Thank you so much for your time.